so there has just been an announcement we have the trailer for remnant 2 the forgotten kingdom a brand new dlc which is coming up on the 23rd of april which is literally 12 days away at this point so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the trailer react to it and then after i'm going to give you guys a brief like basically introduction as to what to expect from this dlc so let's jump into this trailer and have a look right, i have turned it down a little bit here we go this one's going to be set in the world of yasha and I love this world. It's so vibrant and colorful. I have searched this jungle high and low. And what did I find? I'd learned of the lost tribe's fate and the ancient power that sealed it. The living stones. Such power. That boss looks like a beast. And uh, yeah, saw puzzles have made their way back. I didn't like them. I am so close to the truth. I will not give up. And there we go. An incredibly brief, short um, trailer, but right there, available the 23rd of April, 2024. So we are 12 days away from this. And I remember the first DLC. I wasn't a big fan of it, but hopefully with it being in Yeisha, they've done some different things and I'm going to give it a fair shot and we'll see exactly what I think of it when it does release. But now to go through like what to expect from this DLC, what players are going to be doing is piecing together the forgotten history of the Lost Tribe of Yeisha as they attempt to quell the vengeful wrath of an ancient stone spirit called Lydu. Sir. Navigate the lingering traces of torment, treachery, and death that haunt the land's once proud ziggurats as Lydusa's living stones wander the crumbling remnants of an ancient civilization in search of fresh blood. So in a brand new storyline, players must uncover the secrets of the Lost Tribe by exploring a mysterious new area within the world of Yasha. In this strange new location, players will traverse new dungeons, acquire powerful gear, including a brand new archetype, the Invoker, meet unexpected allies, and face new threats in their quest to return some semblance peace to the Forgotten Kingdom. So what's included is a brand new storyline, dungeons, and area based in the world of Yasha, the new archetype, many items and powerful weapons that enhance gameplay, new bosses, characters, and fearsome creatures to encounter. So the new archetype is going to harness the mystic power of the jungle, and they've also said that more details on the archetype will be revealed in a brand new archetype reveal trailer next week. And then when it comes to the powerful weapons and stuff, it says outfit the Wanderer to survive this more deadly version of the world of Yasha by choosing from a host of new weapons and modifications, along with new items like amulets and rings. And then for the new bosses, it says mysterious threats and survivors of unknown origin emerge from the crumbling remnants of the forgotten civilization of Yasha, bringing new challenges for all players. So I think we're going to see similarities in the first DLC and this one in terms of like it's based in Yasha, so it's based in an already existing world within the game. It's just going to be a new area. But I'm looking forward to the new archetype. I'm looking forward to the new weapons and stuff. We'll jump in when it comes out and check it out. But that was a look at the announcement trailer and some info about the Forgotten Kingdom DLC coming to Remnant 2 on the 23rd of April. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this DLC in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.